All right, everybody, welcome to the show. Uh, I'm missing Joe B here. How's it going, everybody? Uh, Jesus Christ. I don't know where the hell Joe B is, but uh, he's probably off somewhere in an alleyway drinking with some homeless people. Uh, we got a good show for you guys tonight. We got uh, some uh, some really good comedians, or really bad, depending on uh, what level your uh, your humor. Oh, there's Joe. Jesus Christ, late late to the fucking party as always. Our co-host Joe B. Where the hell were you, man? I'm three minutes early. You said it said 11:15 in the message. <laughs> Oh shit, that's right. Well, I changed it to eleven ten, thinking that I, 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 I don't know. I guess I fucking told you some wrong information. I don't know. Anyway, where's this, that? This, uh... Where's that Chingon boy? I'm ready for the roast. I'm, I'm actually more excited to hear the fucking Justin talk shit to fucking people than fucking anything I could have to say to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> you know he's no, uh, uh, Where is he at? Got... Hit him up. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk I'm gonna talk shit to me to myself here tonight. I, I yeah he's got he's got a link tonight and uh, I don't know man. So uh, so what's going on with you, Joe? With uh, how how uh, how's life? What what are you on right now? Are you on a fucking harness camera or something? Like what the fuck is going no, on here? I'm, I'm on a cell phone. I'm actually kind of fucking sad and depraved. Like I took so I'm, I'm taking online courses now as of uh, as I've told you and um. I made a fucking 50 on a history test last night because <laughs> it was like, uh, what the fuck is it called? The uh, Oh, man, I can't even fucking, I'm so fucking pissed right now. It's a standardized testing. Like, I'm like, yeah. So I'm like, Miriam Webster, or where, I'm like, how can, like, my teacher didn't even take the time to write their own curriculum and then I'm going to get a fucking 50 on the fucking goddamn <laughs> test and they probably couldn't pass it themselves. <laughs> well, they probably couldn't. That's the whole point. Now, what kind of history was it? Was it like... Uh, it's, it was federal government. Federal government history. That's a lot of uh, Theodore Roosevelt and uh, shit, right? Well, I don't know what the hell he did, but... You you would think, you know, I mean, so so I was like feeling pretty confident at one point. I was like... Well, wow, like, because I was listening to the ebook, because there's an ebook. So you take the Miriam right. Webster and you're on the ebook. So I was listening to the ebook. I was like, well, I, I kind of know a lot of this. Like, I feel like I'm going to make like at least a B on this test. You know, I know they're not going to make it easy for you. And then I made right. a fucking 50. <laughs> I'm fucking pissed. Well, I mean, yeah. it, it could have been worse. Could have been could have been a 49. You know, at, le at least you're halfway to 100. A fifty is better than getting a zero. Well, right? I don't even give. Is, is that the way give, to look at it? Yeah, I don't even give a fuck if I have to drop this class and this other fucking like humanities. I made a ninety on this humanities course, and then I have to take um, another like what they call EDUC. It's like a learning skills kind of class. Right. Like it's like there's right. no right answers or wrong answers. So if I have to just take those two classes, then who gives a fuck? I'll drop the other one, too. <laughs> I mean, All right. Well, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, so I'm, let's, I'm let's get to comedy. Let's, let's, let's laugh now. Like, instead of fucking talking about this fucking depraved ass shit. Well, speaking oh, of depraved ass shit, we're, we're about to get into some depraved ass shit because we've got some pretty interesting comics on tonight. And I hope you're well, ready for this, Joe. I hope I hope you are. Are you, are you having natural light? Is that what you're drinking tonight? That's that's Cindy what's going Peralta. on. Cindy Peralta, I'm sending a shout out to you. Yeah. I'm still fucking shitty. You know, dude, I'm friends with Natty Light on Facebook. To be honest. <laughs> oh wow! I I got the Corona uh, premiere tonight. I, I'm trying it for the first time. It's, I mean, I've had Corona before, but this is different. It's premiere. It's premiere. It's different. All right. Well, let's get to. Uh, yeah, let's get let's to some readings for rich people. Let's get some comedians on here. Let's get right, some let's comedians go. on here. We got, we got a... Oh, Jerry was kind of excited about this. We need to prank call yeah. Jerry yeah. or fucking get a hold of that bastard yeah. at one point. Tag, tag, tag him in the feed here. All right, let's get to our, let's get to our first comic of the night. A uh, guy I've known for a very long time. And uh, his humor is uh, out of this world, if you will. And uh, very, very, uh, the very funny... Uh, all the way from uh, Corpus Christi, Texas, Mr. Dan Pretzer. Oh, Dan, shit. Four. I'm going to time you for three minutes. <laughs> Ready for this. He's excited. All right, here so, we go. so nice to fucking, uh, fucking finally talk to you. Like, 
I'm always fucking telling him that I want to, you know, like me, we go back and forth with the, your mom jokes constantly because like I'm biting off of him. <laughs> so what uh, do you have to say about my mom? Right, Mr. <laughs> well, we'll get to that right after a bit. All right. We'll get to that right after the bit. But it's going to be interesting. So is it going to be, be, be a bell? When yeah, I'm here done, we or? go. Here we go. All right, cool. Now, yesterday I saw say, get the fuck off. All right. Yesterday I saw this guy, this really boring guy. He had a shirt that said, just did it. And I was like, I doubt it. I was uh, sacking groceries the other day at my job because I'm a 44-year-old college graduate who made some mistakes. And I bagged the lady's bags because she brought her own bags. And I put the bags in the plastic bag and put it in the cart. And she goes, what are you doing? And I said, what are, that's the question, isn't it? What are any of us doing? And she didn't find it as funny as me. And then she's like, can I get some carry out? I was like, I'm not even going to get into that with you. And then there was this fat lady. She comes up to me and she goes, where's all the food? And I said, I think I have a guess. She didn't find that funny either, but she didn't bring her own bags. She was mad because we we're out of the Hill Country Fair pulp and no pulp orange juice. And she kept saying, there's, Where's all the food? I was like, look to the left, look to the right, look around you, look in your stomach, look inside you, look outside you, that sort of thing. This one girl told me she was in a long distance abusive relationship. And I was like, what's that? Is that where he calls you up and goes, bitch, hit yourself with your phone? Oh my God, people still pay for parking. I wasted an hour and a half watching Breaking the Band on Aerosmith, and they tried to make them seem so interesting. And they had the two rock critics who were always these overweight, pasty, pillow-looking people talking about how wild and outrageous they were. And I kept wanting to remind them that uh, they wrote that song, Love in an Elevator. And it made me mad. The video made me mad. It made me almost as mad as that Motley Crue one, the one where they're in the helicopter. And then I watched another Breaking the Band about Poison, when the best part was when Brett Michaels punches CeCe DeVille in the face because... He made a mistake on the VMAs and played the wrong song. I think it was the one about drive-ins or remember that show man versus food. That's so great. You pay cable 50 bucks a month to watch a guy eat and you just want him to die or choke on something. I like it when they sweat and I like it when they lose the contest and they have to pay for the meal or somebody has to pay for the meal. The other day I was cleaning a toilet and some lady had dumped an entire bag of taco chips into the bowl. I think she was eating them and wanted to get away with it. And someone came into the bathroom, so she panicked and tried to flush them down. I wanted to tell her, like, look, lady, taco chips don't flush. This isn't drugs here. You can't just get away. Just take the hit. Leave the bag in the stall. I won't say anything. I won't tell anybody anything. But people have to make life so goddamn complicated. I was going out with this one girl and she said something came between us, uh, something, uh, something came between us. And I was like, yeah, that gut. And, uh, oh, I, I finished the Bible the other day and a uh, spoiler alert to the butler did it. I used to drink these things called, uh, hurricanes or natural lights or something. They're 8.1%. And it made me think of John three sixteen, but I always changed it to Dan 8.1%. Turn the TV all the way up. Yeah, you got any money. Uh, the other day I was panhandling outside of a family steakhouse. And this guy comes up to me and goes, hey, you look like you know a lot about computers. And I said, would you like to know what you look like? <laughs> is, that, is that my turn? All right. Yeah, that's your time, I think. Yeah. Oh, uh, that, 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 was pretty, that was pretty fucking good, man. I'm going to have to give you the thumbs up on that. Yeah, same to your that mom. Nice glasses there. Uh, we're, yeah. we're both glasses wearing idiots for four eyes idiots now, apparently. So it's good. That's I have to wear these. Now. Yeah, yeah where the fuck are my glasses at? No, I, get oh, yeah, drunk or, I get drunk and lose my glasses all the fucking time. Or, her, I think I have my blue light glasses over here somewhere. I don't know. So 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 Joe, uh, you and you and Dan have some unresolved issues here online. Is that what's going on? <laughs> no, no, it's, it's like it, Jerry Springer now. Well, no, it's it, Dan's is his catch line is always saying "fuck people's moms" or like your mom. No, I don't say that. So, I just say your mom. It's hilarious. I f <laughs> I find it extremely hilarious. So just in random posts, like I'll always tag 
his mom. <laughs> it's like, what? Wait, you had yeah, his mom like, on Facebook? Uh, well, yeah, I'm not being original, but it's just your mom. It's spinning off of his joke. No, because you know. because like, they, they post these long things, I'm sad or whatever. Like, that's yeah, great, your mom. Oh, oh, <laughs> your this, mom. One guy, this one guy got really mad and he messaged me. He personally messaged me. He's like, what do you mean by my mom? And then he blocked me. He didn't give a chance to answer. I was like, God, well, your mom twice then. Yeah. It's like, your, your mom's here your right grandma. now. Why don't you ask her? Everyone's yeah, like, told him like, I'm, like, I'm straight up tag, I'm straight up tagging Dan Pretzer's moms and Devado fucking ads, you know? <laughs> That's awesome. Ooh. I appreciate the support. Devado? Dev yeah, you don't know what Devado is? Do oh, Vato? Is that, is that an online? That's a gay bar down on next door. It's a drug for HIV, and so it's like not even funny. <laughs> oh, I like the commercials. I like the diverse commercials for the HIV drug. It's always these handsome young yeah. black men. I was like, that's not who's taking yeah. this. Yes, exactly. Yes. That's what I'm the like. Only the only queers I know are big fat balloon dudes wearing pink pants and pot shirts and stuff, man. You're like that's what I feel is like. It's so appropriated. Oh. It's like, it's like, I don't know. It's like targeting. It's like some kind of like liberalistic ideas of like, you know, like it's always like gay black men. Like it's, it's like and, and it's, all, crazy. it's like oh they're okay, all, okay they're, they're all diverse. All cooking pancakes and shit. They're all like you know having fun in the morning and cooking pancakes yeah, like, in the commercial and stuff and just exactly, having a good time. Exactly, Charlie. I, I think you think Charlie. You think Charlie Sheen's having a good time right now? I mean, he's just cooking pancakes. It's in funny because. Uh, one of my queer friends, he called me up. He was really angry because he's like, God, I'm sick of these well-adjusted gays on television. It's not like that, man. I was like, yeah, I kind of figure. <laughs> what is, what you said one of my queer friends. What is this, 1959? Yeah, exactly. One of my queer yeah. friends? <laughs> I'm, living the, I'm retro, man. That's the way to do it. <laughs> one of my queer friends on the TV. Well, thanks, Dan, for coming on, man. It's it's a, it's a, it was a blast. And uh, I think yes, we got to kick you off now because I think I'll, I could only allow so many people on at one time. But uh, no come back on and join us on, on Albert and Joe B's Techno Request Live. And, yes, sir. Uh, I knew this guy was going to be awesome. Point, 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 point. I was anticipating this yeah. moment. Like, this fucking guy yeah. is so hilarious to me. Like, to be yeah. honest, like, I was, like, mildly offended by you the first time I ever read a lot of your posts. I was like, what the fuck, man? This guy's kind of an asshole. And then I was like, <laughs> and then Albert was like, yeah. no, he's just like, that's like, he's in character. He's, like, fucking actually really cool. I so fuck you, that's fuck that, you, that's Dan. Who gives a shit? That's Dan right there. That's that's I, Dan. Make, that's Dan's character feel, is Dan. You're making me feel too good, guys. Thank you for the opportunity, man. Look at it. Hey, yeah, yeah and nice, 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 nice receding hairline, by the way. Yeah, I mean, you'll, you'll get yours eventually. Look, I'm losing the. Oh, back. it's already starting. Oh, God, I got plenty beautiful. of dandruff. That's I got all kinds of shit going on. Oh, oh no, yeah, God. check my. <laughs> I got forehead wrinkles. Right. You're all oily and everything. Oh, <laughs> He's a Mexican. I appreciate it. We'll see. Well, you're see all you later, oily. You're pretty and I'm oily. Wait a minute. Y'all guys are brown? Are you guys are yeah. Hispanic? Oh, I'm going to get the Y'all guys are brown. Yeah. <laughs> we gangsta foo. <laughs> he was a Mexican and he put himself off the fucking chat. Isn't that something? He's so. Oh, God. That's good. Dan Pretz, everybody. Uh, what you that think was of the set, Joe? Obviously, you loved it, right? Yeah. yeah, I think I think that I think that was honestly like the best guest out of any of this fucking shit that we've had going on so far. That dude's <laughs> hilarious, dude. I was so anticipating his presence. Like he's hilarious. That's all right, well, stuff. um, we got. All right, um, uh, and another guy. Oh, uh, uh, Darren Feinsilver's having trouble with his phone. Let me tell him just to come on uh, whenever he can, and if not, then you know, uh, we'll we'll get to the next guy. But uh. Let me see. I'm sorry, dead silence. I hate that on the show. Uh, all right, so so I guess we're gonna we're gonna move on to uh, uh, Doug Fitz, comedian Doug Fitzgerald. Doug Fitzgerald, are you ready, man? Doug Fitzgerald is from somewhere far, far away from Texas, and. Uh, David Luna says, is this a live sex chat? Yes, it is. It absolutely is. And uh, John uh, ben, Ger uh, ben, John Benjamin Goodfar says, uh, that Johnny Knoxville looks like shit. And uh, Joe B, of course, roasting you. Joe B, jo I'm sorry, Justin Chingo and roasting you. Joe B looks like he's about to hit the slopes. 
Are you about to hit the slopes? I don't even know what the fuck that <laughs> comment means. <laughs> what a dick, bitch. You're about, to hit... <laughs> you're about to hit the slopes. I don't know. Maybe you're about to go skiing. Uh... Like, what does that mean? Like, what? It... Uh, like, make some kind of like... for the next. Ready for the next yeah. uh, next comedian? Throw him on there. Uh, Throw this motherfucker Doug Fitzgerald. On Doug Fitzgerald. I believe he's from Boston. I could be wrong. Boston, not Boston, not Boston, Texas. Like the uh, the movie. What's it called? Uh, what the fuck was that shitty ass '90s movie that everybody loved and I loved too, with Tom Green and I don't know. He's trying to find a girl from college. I don't know. Anyway, uh, here it is, everybody. Doug Fitzgerald. Here we go. Get out, Joby. How's it going, guys? I am, um, I am calling. I am, I am Joby in uh, LB's future. Um, I am a bald. That is, I've uh, come to terms with that. Uh, first thing I noticed about um, going bald is uh, shaving. You when you shave your head for the first time, you don't realize you're actually ghosting your barber. I mean, it's okay. My barber was a 92 year old man with Parkinson's. So I didn't think it's so much that it was going bald. Pretty much, I might might have just caught him on a bad day. Um, I had something traumatizing happen the other day, guys. I um, I dropped my pipe, and it shattered everywhere. Guys, now I know what it's like to drop a child. And I dropped my nephew before. Don't worry, my nephew's going to be fine. CTE willing. Um, yeah. Guys, I, uh, oh, was my mic muted that whole time? Okay, well, that's embarrassing. Um, yeah, so guys, I, um, I owe my life to marijuana. I owe my life to weed. This is true. <clears throat> Mainly because my mom and my dad were separated. And my mom went only went over his house to buy weed. Seven months later, my mom's like, I have gas real bad. I have to go to the hospital. And I came out. Years later, I'm still her most disappointing fart she's ever had. Um, it's true, guys. When people ask me how old I am, I just tell them I used to supervise a blockbuster video. Yeah, you haven't seen shit. Until you supervise the midnight release of the two VHS set of Titanic. I'm still shell-shocked and having nightmares. Be kind, rewind, motherfucker. If I have to explain that to you, by the way, what be kind, rewind is, we are legally not allowed to hang out. We are not allowed in, in no way, shape, or form. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I was hanging out with my mother the other day, and she's like, you know, I only drink around you, right? Like, wow, I only drink around you. How fucked up is that? Is that you, you need alcohol so bad that you gave birth to your own enabler? Oh, man. Guys, I, um, I started watching documentaries for the nostalgia factor. So now when I hear certain music, it's kind of triggers. Like suddenly I hear, step by step, ooh, baby. Gonna get to, and I lose my mind. I go crazy. Um, I just, I just go into the song and everything, and all of a sudden I forget. I'm watching a documentary until I hear, and four dead bodies were found down by the river. It's like holy crap, this is a weird choice for a true crime documentary. But you do you. I was a huge New Kids in the Block fan when I was younger, huge. So my uncle one year got me New Kids in the Block everything. Pillowcases, posters, sheets, blankets, you name it. Everything. Six months after I moved on to The Simpsons. So I was the coolest kid in third grade. Never mind the fact that it was in sixth grade. No one's taking that away from me. Doug Fitzgerald. <laughs> hey, that was fantastic, man. Hey, Doug, where are you? Uh, you're, it's, thank you for joining us tonight. Hell yeah, man. That was fucking fantastic. Joe? Thank you. Uh, Thank you, you guys you, for having me. You totally bombed out. You kind of suck dick. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I, I do look like I have the eyelashes of a man who was a made a career out of sucking dick. So I, yeah, like, I, was, <laughs> I, just, 
Like you got a sign on your forehead that's like I just kind of want to replace it with like a little slit, like to make you look more like a. <laughs> My joke is so bad. You shouldn't even use that word. I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's so played out too. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh god. Uh, That was great. It was a good fucking set, man. I I thoroughly enjoyed it. However, it does look like you're a a picture frame on the uh, side of a local pizza joint. I thought it fucking sucked. I thought fucking Dan (laughs) Pretty fucking destroyed him. Would you return that pizza? If I got a pizza yeah. on it, I would return it. I would assume uh, there's some sort of date rape drug in it. Oh, my God. It. Oh, my hey, God. Hey, anyway. Dubato is not a party drug, fool. What? <laughs> Dubato is not a party uh, drug. No, it's oh an after-party drug. Okay. That, that was probably the funniest shit you said all night long, to be honest. <laughs> Oh, no, I, th- I thought the whole thing was great, man. I thought it was fantastic. You got a very, very great fucking person. So what's new with you, Doug? You got any uh, uh, got anything coming up soon, or, or what's what's happening? Um, yeah, tomorrow night I'm doing a virtual reality show called Fail to Render, um, right. featuring comics all over the world. That's you, And uh, they're doing a hybrid show in L.A., uh, but I'm on their Tuesday East Coast show. Um where it's completely in virtual reality and it's the closest thing you can get to being in front of a crowd without actually being in front of a crowd. Oh, that, and, that VR stuff is, is insane, man. Uh, I was watching some of uh, Brian Redband stuff that he's doing on his YouTube channel and uh, man, they're, they're really getting crazy, but the shit looks like it's from like in 64 or something, you know, the technology is not quite there yet. It looks like you're playing fucking 007 or something. It's fucking nuts, but it, it's, it's still a fucking very, great fucking idea oh no it's it's definitely n64 because people design their skins the same way as you would yeah. like n64 skins yeah so you see people take a picture of themselves and try to make it into a skin and it just kind of looks like of a like a dickensian nightmare something out of like uh like hp lovecraft so oh yeah yeah that's great man yeah it's it's uh it's definitely 2022 and uh, this yeah. shit's fucking insane. But I think they were playing like Grand Theft Auto or something like that, like in virtual reality. I don't know how the fuck they were doing. I wasn't paying attention, but it was good. Joe, are, are you in for virtual reality? Are, are you down for this shit? This is the future, man. It's the metaverse. What's going on? Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't give a fuck, man. It's like, I'm down for whatever. It's like, you know, it's the one thing that's fucking lame as fuck, though. It's like, like, say you're fucking just trying to like jack off peacefully, and then they're like trying to like, make you succumb to, like, those fucking virtual fucking pornos. I'm like, I'm not down with that. <laughs> I think that's lame as fuck. Yeah, nobody wants to get both vertigo well, get, get vertigo while having sex. Like, no. like yeah, who wants, to, who wants to fucking jack off to some big booty fucking bitch fucking who's, like, just, like, some kind of, like, anime of sorts or something? I mean, I guess, I don't know. Some people jack off to anime. There's I guess it's a good for it. Did, did, you, you, you so jerk off to you, anime? You jerk off to anime, Doug? I said there's a crowd for it. Yeah, I said oh, there's, there's a crowd, crowd for, for it. it. Yeah, oh, yeah there's I mean, a crowd for it somewhere. Obviously, there's millions of people that succumb, pun intended, to fucking <laughs> that type of fucking entertainment. Like, it's yeah. really fucking lame as far as I'm concerned. I'm like, I don't know. I'm going to jack yeah. off to fucking like some digitized fucking version of your mom. J- drawn, drawn by a dude, no less. My yeah, mom exactly. looks nothing like Bulma from Dragon Ball Z. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> there, there's his guilty pleasure there. Uh, Adam, Adam Gonzalez, uh, Doug Fitzgerald is a comedian's name. Sorry, I should have put his name on there. I don't know why his name's not coming up, but Doug Fitzgerald's the name of this comedian. I guess he was asking for a friend. Maybe he thinks you're hot. I don't know. They all kind of look alike, by the way. I, I'll, I'll take it. You know, I take compliments. Yeah. I take maybe I'll start, maybe I'll start uh, jacking off to him now that I know his name. Like <laughs> the first time I mean, comedy was lame, but like you now that I know the, his name, I'm gonna fuck jack off to him constantly. You wouldn't be the oh, first God. dude to do that. <clears throat> Not that they yeah. paid me. I mean, I all, all those, yeah, all, I those uh, all those those uh, those twinks coming into Blockbuster Video in the late '90s, man, must have really had a cross on the video, man. You yeah, should start. You should start a site called Pornbub. I'd be so bum. down, especially Porn especially bum? since I had a ponytail back then. <laughs> Not oh, a joke. 
Dude, yeah. I love the horse. I love the horseshoe ponytail. I fucking jack off to that constantly. <laughs> oh no, no, uh, it was Terry Crews from Karate Kid, like not oh. hated, but definite widow's peak, and yeah. pulled off a little ponytail. Yep. Don't yep. get me started yep. on Karate Kid. I fucking, oh, I'm like, I'm not even like pro Cobra Kai. I fucking really just hate the whole concept of that movie. <laughs> like, hey, I shot the video. Did you did you watch that fucking um did you watch that gif of sorts or whatever that I shared earlier, Albert, where it's like the sensei is like beating the fucking kids up. He like grabs the one kid by the ankles and like throws him on his head. And he slaps no, no, him in the face. No, I, I, should, I probably should have it sounds interesting. It's so depraved. <laughs> but uh Doug, I mean, uh if you wanna if you ever like wanna get your ponytail back, there's uh there's some uh I know of a pretty good weave store that you can uh, that you can visit, and uh, maybe you can get a weave or a wig. Well, and... I'm in Boston. Rent's too high for me to get weave money. I'm sorry. <laughs> maybe second don't, hand uh, weave, like you know. Don't move to Austin. Austin. Don't move to Austin, or don't move to Beeville. There's too much meth here. You'll just get lost in the game. <laughs> too much meth, or not enough meth. <laughs> Well, I don't know, man. It's a double-edged sword. No, I like my teeth where they are. So, yeah, it's a double-edged sword for sure. It is. It could be. It could be. I mean, I don't know, man. You could be doing math, and then you know, end up like Charlie Sheen, successful actor. And uh, I don't know, Charlie Charlie Sheen never did comedy, but he was a successful actor. But you he know, double-edged blood. sword. He no, got, he did. Do, he did do he did some fucking comedy. really fucking bombed out, fucking horrible ass. He approaching comedy movies like what uh, he, like, he was stand up but he what what did comedies when he, when he was yeah we'll have to ask him on about that he did some really horrible fucking like pseudo comedies yeah that was right. the 90s well, here's dan hey dan's dan, dan dan's dan's not wearing any pants he's not he, he's in the middle of a jack off and i put him back on the screen holy shit dan what's up he was jerking Show off to your wiener dan why do you think I have my frame in a circle? Yeah. Oh, he's you muted. Can't Sorry. See my right. hands. Hold on. Hold on. He's muted. Yeah. Hey, Dan. Welcome back on the show, man. How's it going? I, I didn't know I was going to get back on the couch. This is weird, man. Yeah. Hey, hey good set, man. You you were the you were the uh, fake wall there. That was cute. Thank you. you were you were you were pissing. You were you were you were doing something in the restroom while his set was going on. How do you know? Did you hear it from afar? Yeah, I was listening to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you talked about ghost in your barber, like that. Thing. Oh yeah, that I like that one. That was this good. Shit, this yeah. doesn't, it doesn't happen overnight. Yeah, I'm I need to get yeah. my haircut too, but uh, yeah, whatever. I figured, you know, hold on to this stuff. I, no, I was listening to a set, man. I'm not one of these people that like, uh, you know, they're just all about them, and then like these people in bands, like, uh, you know, like Jimmy Rotten. Whatever he'll play a show and then me in the back making fun of everybody and then he'll leave. And it's like, <laughs> I saw him do that on on Saturday. I was like, dude, what what the hell are you doing? And he came yeah. back. He's like, where's my stuff? I was like, I don't know. You should have stuck around. <laughs> I guess it won't. You're, ta you're talking. Oh yeah, you, you're talking yeah. about uh, Jimmy. Jimmy um, Smithwick. The, the, yeah, the <laughs> band from from Corpus. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I play shows with that guy. Hey, he's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, he's, I, I, when they opened up for Everclear, I was like, "This is what you need to do, man. Go on stage and before your set, just say, hey, by the way, Everclear has cancer, so you know.' And that way, when Everclear goes on, they won't know if it's like real applause or sympathy applause." Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> oh yeah, because Everclear, Ever, Everclear wasn't gonna get an applause, right? Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, you know, father right. of mine. <laughs> Well, well, here we are back on the show now. Okay, we done with the stand up. We we lost a comedian. There were supposed to be three comedians, and now the show is just going off the rails for the next uh, half hour or th twenty minutes, yeah, however long we have cool. here. So, well, so I think we, we should are. prank call Jerry Fira. Who yeah, ask well, him for some money? <laughs> call call him and hold your phone up to the mic because I can't. I don't have the. Capability I should, to do a call. Yeah, I should right be now. using a different device. <laughs> I should next time I should be using a different device because then I could call him off the phone. He was like, yeah. like I've been harassing him constantly. Like I'm such a fucking piece of shit. I don't like know sexually? why. I just send my friend depraved memes. Like I superimpose his face like on <laughs> all kinds of like just fucking stupid shit. That already like, sounds funny. I superimposed his face. Yeah, I use it. <laughs> 
I use this really <laughs> shitty. I use this really shitty application where like I cut and paste his face. And I just, like, <laughs> put it on so all this pornographic shit. Like. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the night, he's like, he's like really not happy with it. Like, I said, I said some of it to Albert before. <laughs> yeah, it gets pretty, it's pretty out there. He's just a local guy, dude from Bevo. Like, I don't know. I just like to pick on him. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not that smart. To be uh, Jerry, Jerry's a good guy. And uh, one time, uh, I, I, one of my fondest is he a comic? Of Jerry. Is it Jerry uh, a comic? No, no, but he should be. Cool. And, and he's, just some, he's just some guy he, he, from around town. He should, he should, oh. he, should be a phys, he should be a physical comic because this guy, uh, one time we had a party at my house and uh, this, he got completely he never wasted. Invited me like, to your party. like, well, I mean, you'd live in fucking Flower Bluff, motherfucker. That's like, oh, yeah, you know, that's I don't know hey, how get the game away. away. Yeah, it's not like I can just like say, hey, Dan, come over here and drive drunk across the bridge and fucking, you know, I guess drive if, drunk. I guess back. if you call it comical, me and him have been into like bloody fist fights, me and this guy, like at yeah. least like five times, me and him have beat the fucking goddamn ever living shit out of each other. Because uh, you're so fight club, you're like, oh. I don't know. We just, I don't <laughs> yeah, know. We, so we just, we, so it's the punch line when the cops are so fucking just drunk and high, just beating the shit out of each other, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, hold, hold on. So, so Jerry, Jerry gets drunk in my house, right? And he gets drunk like in a matter of like twenty minutes. I think we had like five or six bottles and like you know three or four cases of beer. And there was going to be a band playing there from Chicago that was coming to my Ooh. house, and he's fucking wasted as fuck by like an hour before the band's even supposed to play. And then uh, immediately just like like fucking comes outside, does some fucking like big bear yell like Aah! and like falls through my fucking porch. And into the fucking bush. It was the most hilarious thing I ever seen. He did like a Chris Farley roll like off my porch and into oh. the bush and like crashed through the pillar. He was like, "There's a pillar here. Here's my front door." He just does this. To, here's the pillar. He just a <laughs> and just like falls into the thing. And and before I even check on him, we just start laughing like hilariously. I wasn't even mad that he broke my porch. I was actually just fucking. Hilarious! I was I was just laughing my ass off because it was so funny. Because I mean, I fixed the porch the next day, but I thought it was fucking hilarious at the time. So yeah. Uh, so <clears throat> Doug, you got um, tell us more about this this uh, this this show uh, you, this live stream you have tomorrow night. What uh, what you know any of the comics that are coming on? Is anybody, uh, else, is anybody else hearing Albert's voice being distorted? Like it sounds like your voice is like digitized. Like it's like, rah, 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 like. No, that that's how oh, he talks. Probably. That's how I talk. Like that. This is me and doing an impression of myself. Hey, everybody, I'm Albert. That's you that's know, let me grow and shit like that. You know. Yeah. Brown town. Uh, <laughs> Doug, <laughs> are you mute? Hold on, guys. Go ahead. Go ahead, Doug. Sorry. You can look it up on uh, Facebook, or they got up at that dot com called uh, failure to render dot com. Uh, it's, it's, um, I got involved with, through another comedian from, uh, New York just cause it was like, I got a VR headset for Christmas. And I don't want to do something with it. Um, other than play video games, um, yeah. and do workout routines to try to make myself lose weight and feel, you know, less 42. Um, you don't like a day over 41. Good? Yeah. I, I don't look what? You don't like a day over 41. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. Yeah. It's I great. look like a, my great. my face looks like a, a crumpled up piece of paper, but up with beautiful blue eyes. <laughs> no, no, you you look great, man. You look you look like a baby with facial hair. It's yes, yes, a hot baby, yes. a the very hot baby with facial hair. Very sexy. I look like a hot baby. Yeah. Oh my uh -huh. god, that's going on there. Yeah, because you got that hoodie on. Obviously, you're like you're sweating or something. No, Jopi has the hoodie on. Jopi oh, is it? No, no, huh. Jopi's got a beanie on. My bad. I've got the yeah. hoodie on. No, huh. I can finally hear you again. You fucking Ooh. homo. No, that was a PC. I do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, show, I'm gonna show my receding hairline. Like, and oh, Jopi has hair. I'm gonna, actually, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show my Sid viciousness. Like, oh yeah, I'm fucking Joe, so Joe punk rock, baby. I'm haircut. punk rock, baby. I'm punk rock. Oh, how you like me now? Uh, uh, oh God. You're the punk rock, punk rock guy waiting outside the liquor store to buy the kids booze. That's what you are. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, exactly, that's, that's exactly what. That's exactly what he is. That's exactly that's what so Joe funny. B. Dude, that's so funny you mentioned that because that's like my childhood. Like we would me, me and me and my one buddy. 
We would hang out outside of Mary Martin's liquor store in Beeville and then just wait for this one dude. It's like, I don't know. What's so crazy is it turned out to be him and his father that we would be like, hey, can you buy us booze? And it was like a father son connection. Like, my friend, like, actually, like, gave this dude, like, a ride home. Like, and would, like, bought his wife medicine and shit and paid for prescriptions. Like, we were just, like, these depraved youth. Like, me and my fucking buddy, like, we're so fucking shitty. Like, that's all we wanted to do is just get a bottle of Bellows and go drink at the friendly bar in Beeville and just be fucking shitty. Like, I don't know. That was us. We would skip school all the time and go hang out in the fucking... Like they like there's that bar, the where the where the wine the wine bar is now, Albert. It's called La Lina. Like yeah. we were <laughs> actually very, doing uh, lines. La Lina. <laughs> yeah, Lina. it's in the, it's in the gentrified part of Beville if there is something no really? Beville's getting course. gentrified? Jesus. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah America's like, getting gentrified. This yeah. show's getting gentrified. Yeah, it is. It, 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 I, yeah, I, I, I I'm is. sorry. Could I just did I just gentrify? Did I just increase the property value of the show? <laughs> Are you guys you getting out? I mean, I could. Really... You come up. You come up uh, with your brick wall. Sponsor. But, uh, yeah, no, no, we lost. This, uh, we come. We come. Dude, let me touch your brick wall here. That's uh, God, it's just a nice brick wall. <laughs> Excuse me, that brick wall was imported from Italy. <laughs> Please don't touch. Thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Well. Oh, oh yeah, hold on. Efren says I came here for the techno. Is this the wrong podcast? Yeah, no, no, no. You're watching Albert and Joe B's techno request live. That's exactly what you're watching. That's what this show is. 1990s techno request live. This, However, yeah, this is bombing out. This is bombing, this is out, bombing out. This is bombing out or whatever. Well, but, that uh, your or, cousin. He picked me up walking down the road, fucking somewhat recently with his wife, and I was like completely fucked up out of my mind, like drinking four loco, being a total piece of shit, and then they gave me a ride home. Ooh. Oh Al- God, Al- Al- Albert! What sort yeah, of technology? End of the joke. Music? Ask Efren about it. I'm a fucking total scumbag oh, like that. Hold on, Albert. What sort of techno music yeah, you are you possibly wear in that rehab rehab room you're in? <laughs> he does look like he's a <laughs> We're buying. We're gonna uh, yeah. buy. A- I'm a member of Skinny Puppy. I'll have you know that, Dan. Oh, oh I love Skinny yeah. Puppy. Well, you guys, are you you really are you in Skinny Puppy? Yes. Yeah, he's in skinny oh, puppy. Yeah, I was just, I posted that on my page today. Actually, I'm fucking I'm so fucking pissed at my goddamn fucking piece of shit friends. Like my friend took his wife to go see skinny puppy instead of me at the Austin, whatever the fuck it's called. Like uh, fun, like, fun, fun, fun fest or whatever. Yeah, they're the what what the skinny fuck? Skinny puppy is, are gay. I mean, they suck, dude. They're terrible. They sound like yeah, skinny I, puppy. You're kidding yeah. me. Oh, nothing but fat girls wore those shirts back in high school, man. You don't want to be a part of that. I'm a misunderstood. <laughs> no, you're fat. That's how it works. Okay, misunderstood. Do you don't oh, like fat yes. goth pussy? No, 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 what is no, wrong no, with you? Like what is wrong puppy? with you? They had ad problems. Um, Wait, who had ad problems? Skinny puppy had dad problems. No, no. All, oh, the, girls, all the girls that I knew that liked skinny puppy definitely had dad problems. Yeah, and they were fat, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the worst, the most non PC show ever. Man. Oh, we're, we're supposed to be hey. not. I, like, I don't know. I, hey, yeah, I didn't know I, comedy. I didn't know comedy was supposed to be PC. <laughs> Wait, so we can work blue? It's, is what you're saying? <laughs> work blue? What do they call? What's blue? 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 Work blue? Like that's twenty blue. minutes ago. Yeah. yeah, I think we're blending into purple, more of a magenta, maybe. I think so. Yeah, yeah. definitely not an outdoor color. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. Adon, well, Adon, just... got, Adon got kicked off of fucking YouTube for fucking like reviewing some kind of fucking shitty Z list movie. Like I don't I even get, understand I... how we're not getting kicked off of whatever the fuck well, this stream. Was. We, were, we were riffing. We were riffing uh, uh, that one fucking movie. What was it called, Justin? Justin? Uh, Justin? Remember, street? Not street. It was like a Street Fighter ripoff, and we were doing it. They were doing it live. And they kept the feed kept shutting down because YouTube kept cutting it off. And man, it was it was fantastic. Justin's throwing That's tomatoes funny. at me. I guess he don't fucking he didn't like this shit. Whatever. Fuck you, well, Justin. Fucking doing it live yeah, is probably got to do with look at the tomatoes. Yeah, sometimes doing yeah, things live, it, it picks up the music. The algorithm picks up the music, we'll flag it automatically. 
Oh, oh Shoot Fighter was Shoot Fighter was the one at, at uh, that movie that we're watching, and I want to watch the movie again because I was I was emotionally invested in that movie, and uh, we got cut off like ten like minutes. A, sounds like a first person shooter Street Fighter mix. <laughs> you look but you look like a playable like a character. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, you're you're Ken you're you're uh, you're Ken what's his name, but with a gun, so you win every Street Fight. Yeah. Oh, okay. man, that. Yeah. That's Joby, Joby took his beanie off, man. I, that's great that you have hair there, Joby. I always thought you kind of sharpied it on like the last few years. You look like you're on your third wife. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's funny that you mentioned I'm an artist, that. man. <laughs> that's <laughs> funny that you mentioned that because I was actually just crying to one of my fucking friends today about my third long-term girlfriend who like all this sort of fucking stuff happened with like Mikhail, <laughs> if you're out there <laughs> true story i'm actually like hey this is like it's like, like this is like maury of sorts or something like more request oh, live oh. <laughs> like bombing Wait. out with joe and maury uh -huh. what 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 the fuck are you talking about I'm, confess oh I'm confessing my past relationships and crying oh, on a comedy friend. show right now before your very eyes. Oh, yeah, because comedy is therapy. It's like, you need therapy, get a therapist. It's a stage, it's an art. It's like, you're a balloon animal. Just shut the fuck up with the art shit. The crap. Yeah, that was a good movie. The sequel. What the fuck are you talking about? That, that's probably, the, that's yeah, probably the best joke yeah, your right. fucking bald ass has told all night long. Every time I hear the phrase, yeah, oh, Stand up is my therapy. I'm like, oh, cool, you're an open micer. That's nice. <laughs> like, I've heard that joke 60 times already. Tonight. Hey, my first wife left me for a guy named Karen from England who didn't like the Rolling Stones. I was like, well, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Karen from wrong? England looks he would be Karen from England yeah, looks like he would look exactly like you, but talk with the British accent. Yeah, he, looked like the guy, he looked like the guy from Sean from the Sean of the Dead. He looked just like that guy. Uh, Oh, he worked okay. at a Maybe bookstore. That's how I everybody said, looks I'm, there. I told him I was going to kick his ass. He was like, "Oh!" I was like, "Yeah, that's what I thought." Is it Why? racist for me to? Is it racist for me to say that all British people look alike? No, it's not. The hell with the British. They burned the White House. <laughs> I'm an American, man. I think regardless of people, I think I think the Brits earned a little bit of criticism throughout history. Yeah, I think yeah. they got to kind of yeah. They can take a few hits. It's okay. And they'll continue yeah. to take them right up the ass. Or at the bum. I mean, that's what they call it, right, in England? With their dustbins yeah. or whatever. <laughs> oh, God. I'm getting oh, called like the basis the now. But... <laughs> yeah. Oh, look. It's uh, Evan Williams' bottle my McDonald's, my small McDonald's cup. And no, this is not a uh, 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 a rehab room. It's uh, my jail cell. Can we, can, we, can we actually call Justin by now? Like, it's What the fuck did Justin do? Cell. That's way too much light. That's way yeah, too much. Yeah, have you actually been in jail? It sucks. I went to Justin, jail once or twice. Justin, where the fuck are you at? It was hilarious. I did an overnight drunk tank. I did an overnight did drunk a, tank for an for a, a, a occasion that wasn't my fault. Yeah, I, I, did, I did a week in there for a DUI, and uh, there was this dude with a panty on his head. He's like, when I get it, this guy was like 60. He's like, when I get out, I'm going to take over my block again. I was like, I think that's why you're in here, man. <laughs> so just kind of relax a little bit. I've been in jail like 30 times, to be honest. Uh, like, literally. I, I I've been it. in jail like 30 times. Like, do you want to be prostitution? What? No, well, the last time I was in there was for DWI. And then I didn't pay my court fines. So I got pulled over. And they threw me back in jail, blah, blah, blah. But so, I don't know. I'm just a fucking scumbag like that. Like, so I'm in and jail. They, they... I made trustee like really quickly. But like the people that were with me were like so horrible. Like, cause I'm, I, I have like a, um, an evasion of arrest charge on my record. <laughs> so I ran from the cops in Austin one time. I ran to this dorm. I got they caught. Helicopters. She's not going to get away, man. Yeah, yeah. They caught me. So yeah. I fucking ran to this dormitory, like in West Campus, by the drag. So they threw me in jail. An interesting part of the story this fucking girl who was a stripper that I knew, who was like an ex girlfriend, 
So she was like tutoring me. I don't know. It was just such a <laughs> fucking torrid story. Like they they told the cops where I was at. Oh. So they, they throw me in fucking jail. And um I don't know. So many, so many fucked up stories. Like, so literally, like when I'm in jail this one time, I'm fucking with these guys, and then like fucking, fucking with these guys. No, that doesn't I'm, sound no, right. No, I'm in, I'm in fucking jail. I'm in the fucking goddamn jail. They put me for evasion of arrest in the cells where the worst people are at because I evaded arrest. So I'm yeah. in jail, and so- then. So you're in jail right now, kid. though, right? You're well, in jail right now. That, it's you're, you're, yeah, you're I'm live. in jail right now. There's this kid you're, who you're, got busted. You're live from a. You're live. Hold on. You're live from a fucking uh, uh, jail cell uh, in, in, in Austin, in, Texas. Smuggled in. It looks like you're live from a smuggled in uh, BlackBerry from like 2005. Hey, it's like SPM still making records in jail. Well, yeah, yeah. 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 So I'm telling you. I'm telling you yeah. a true story. This kid got busted right, for like a kilo of fucking meth, and he was crying. Like, there's this guy. He's from MS13. And he's crying in my cell. Like, there's all these motherfuckers. There's somebody who's like prescribed AIDS medication. Like, not even Devado. Like. Dude, it was fucking depraved. I was like, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is going on with my life? Like, dude, I'm sitting there. I'm, there's this other dude, Blair, who's like this ex-military dude. And he's like <laughs> giving everybody commissary and shit. We're eating powdered beans. It was fucking sorted. It was horrible. This that's, is true that's, stories. That's, that's, that's terrible. Book. And there's, there's oh, a word depraved dude. again. It's, it's Pee Wee's Playhouse fucking word of the day. Depraved. Ah. All right. Doug, you ever been to jail? He looks like he's going to jail right now, by the way. The, <laughs> oh, the way he looked. Well, uh, uh, this is oh. the state of Massachusetts. Oh, oh. Suck oh yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> That's right. So, yes. And, um, no, I've never I've never been to jail. Um, I I kind of calmed down on drinking in the past, like, few months. Um, right. Like, I didn't start drinking until I was late in life, like, 20, 26. You know, I yeah, was like. When the problems really girlfriend. started. Well, so I didn't get laid. Did, so you didn't get laid for the first time until you're 27. 20, uh, 26. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, so, yeah, you didn't get drunk until you're 27. <laughs> yeah, I, no, yeah. So you didn't get laid for the first time until you're 27. Oh, that's you didn't, true. Yeah, that's you, true. You, you didn't. You didn't get a blowjob until you're 29. <laughs> no, that's not true either. But that's okay. Don't. If you guys want to believe that, whatever makes you feel good, that's fine. No, but like. <laughs> The thing when you stop drinking, you realize your best stories are behind you. That's true. Right. You're crazy. Like you mom. don't have a crazy. It's like, dude, I was drinking this glass of milk the other day. Like, no, no good story starts from that ever. That's um, a meme, you hack. So you never had sex with any of your high school teachers? Like, what a lame life. I went to an all boys high school, and all the all the teachers were males. So no. So you had sex with them too? There was one, actually no. There was one female teacher Wait. who ended up pregnant and left. Oh hey. God! I was gonna ask. Okay, you're in an all boys school. Cool, you know, all the man. teachers are male. Fuck. Okay, I, I'd be. What's that? No, no. I'm not. I so, what you said. Oh, so you're in an all boys school, right? And all the teachers yep. are also male as well. I'd be worrying about those fucking teachers, man. Ooh. Oh no! I wasn't pretty enough. Uh, of, uh, I was not pretty. Know, man. Um, was this, of, a, ca- was this a Catholic priests, school actually, that you went to? Priest in my school was actually one of those priests. Uh, I didn't right, find out right, right. years later. Um, it was like people on the track team and all these like the track team, the the, the, the teams that he coached. Um, and I wasn't pretty enough, and I was in choir, so I was nowhere near his social circle. Um, oh, okay. Was, did, did Pope I'm Francis, very happy I didn't do extracurricular activity. Did Pope Francis ever text message you personally? Hmm? <laughs> no. uh, I certainly what? hope not, because that, if or if I got it, that's what? definitely a scam. What the fuck? Yeah, it was definitely a scam. It's not yeah. like one of those like uh, those those uh, those Instagram messages where it's like, "Hey, yo, it's Michael Jackson. I need five thousand dollars to come back to the United States." Like, <laughs> oh, and yeah, no, exactly. too. yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. So you didn't have the ponytail yet, is what you're saying? In, in, no, uh, no, I didn't have the ponytail. That wasn't until your Blockbuster days when you were working at Blockbuster Video. Exactly, exactly. You worked right. at Blockbuster? I, I, know, yep. I know more about your life than than a lot of people now, and you should feel scared about that. 
That's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I, I know a lot about Joe B too. Yep, I used to supervise a blockbuster video. Oh, you look like a supervisor. Like, you're late again. I'm going to write you up. Oh, this is an important business. <laughs> you don't understand the movie industry. <laughs> yeah. You don't understand the My movie. My way into the movie industry was 100%, 100% blockbuster video and not doing a bit part in the surrogates. Supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> I want to speak to the manager, and then you look at me. Hey, how can I help you? Like that fucking nerd on the Simpsons. Uh. <laughs> I bet you liked a lot of foreign films. <laughs> You're a buff, aren't have, you? You're a buff. They don't, they don't have they don't have foreign films at Blockbuster. They He's had fucking buff. Milo and Otis. Milo and Otis was the probably the closest foreign film they had at Blockbuster. And no, uh, that, that guy, that, Doug's a an unbuff buff. That's what he is. Really. Un buff. Un Albert, buff Albert, you haven't buff. you haven't lived life until you rented a porno out of that wooden box at the fucking. Manny needs the money, like. <laughs> oh, they don't know. They don't know about Manny that. Manny needs the money. Oh no, there, there's there's a store here in town called Newsstand or something, and it had like a room, a special room, and it was the adult section. And I wasn't 21, but I was 20. And I went there with my friend and my buddies. And hey, my buddy's not 21, but he's 20. Uh, can he still go into the porno room? And the, the guy behind the counter is like, first of all, it's not a porno room. It's an adult section. He goes, well, what's in there? Porno. And yeah, he can go. And so we go in there, right? And there's this. The whole place is empty. But in this room, there's like five people. But it's a tiny room. You know, it's back with the BHS. You know, the, the porno boxes are like that wide, you know, like your mom. And they're just wide boxes. And there's this guy who had like eight <laughs> tapes in one of his arms. And the other arm, he was like this. just so just just shoving the other page back and i looked up and i was just like face to face in the gay section nothing but dick i was like what the hell <laughs> that's all i got anyway Dude, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm old i'm old enough where i used to work at the sandwich shop in austin where fucking oh, actually austin. like it used to be like it had a sombrero on the top of it but it was called miami subs so um there was a sandwich shop there at one point, but across the street there was like a porno shop. And so no, they had art shop. It's an adult shop. Adult shop, yes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> they had a they had arcades in there, so it's like you go and like you fucking I don't know, like you put a quarter in there or some shit, and then like like you see some kind of filthy ass shit. There was like cum stains <laughs> all over the place. Like it was pretty nasty. Like. But, I don't know. I mean, I guess there you go. Like when you're when you're a young and you just went in there and you're just like, hey, this is like, oh, this is intriguing. Like my parents are gonna be mad if I go to this place. Like, so you just went out there you. to be rebellious, you know? God, God watches every time you watch into a walk into a porno shop. It was pretty so amusing. Your dead, so does your dead great grandma? She knows every time you walk into a porno shop. She knows everything. Did you know this, Dan? That's the only time like, God's like, watching. God's a freak. Yeah, yeah. He, he's, God's he's everything. I mean, I mean, imagine if he saw everything. It's like, goddamn, so much butt sex. Oh, wait, God created <laughs> everything. He, well, you see I was Dan's bald spot. Oh. <laughs> you want to see it again? Look at, look at that. Look yeah, at please. That. It's it's fucking ah, beautiful. You didn't oh. you didn't have that last time I oh, saw you, people, man. People say my head shamed. Yeah, happened, yeah. Man. I'm tall enough so people don't notice it. So there, there you go. You know. So uh, like, should, like, uh, the favorite part about going bald is you first learn you're losing hair is when you get your get your first sunburn in a bald spot you can't see. Ooh, I have I have yet to experience it. I've seen it on my oh, dad, God. but not me. Yeah, y'all should y'all, y'all should happen. invest in a toupee shop. Y'all should go to go get together. And open a toupee shop somewhere. I and, don't uh, like this thing. I don't, I don't think we'll you're go going bald this. until you have like a bukkake fucking party on your bald spot. Like that's when you know you're really fucking doing it right. Are you trying to organize a bukkake party? Is that why you have the blankets up on the <laughs> cover in the window? <laughs> <laughs> hey Doug, you're, you're I, can't, I can't hey, let Doug. anybody I can't yeah. let anybody see what's Doug. going on in here. Doug. You're from Boston. You're a comic out of Boston, right? Yes, I am. When are you going to come to Corpus? Corpus Christi, Texas. We, we got a room here. A Sal's Bronx pizza. Hit up John Roman. He'll book you. John Roman? 
Yes, sir. Hell yeah, definitely. Hey, she got Corpus, Corpus, I haven't man. been to Corpus Christi in years. The last time I was there was to, to see a girl. Uh, that didn't work out. Is she out. dead now or what? Uh, uh, well, no, no. She's moved on. She left me for the guy that, the other guy that also hit on her at, at a wedding. Did you have sex with her when she was dead? Or? Yeah. Of course I didn't. Like I, we met up there. Did you um, cry during? Is that why she bailed? Um, <laughs> no, no. We just didn't work out. I can imagine. Um, I mean, did she work at Boat? Did she work at Boatnet? This girl. What? Uh, what's the, what's Boat, the okay, sorry. Boat, sorry you didn't get that joke. Yeah, like Boatnet. Yeah, it's like it's really I, I love like, all of you guys are telling like you, you guys are telling like local and regional jokes, and I'm like, hold on. Yeah, we're trying that to. Up. <laughs> Let's yeah, boat, boat <laughs> that's like a really seriously horribly seafood restaurant in this area. It's affordable. It's not it's not it's cheap. Affordable. It's affordable. Well, in San Antonio we have uh we have Fred's, Fred's, Fred's fish fry. Boat and boat in letter in and net is is the one. Dude, what then, was that place called? What was that place called, that, Albert, that we went to it was so great? Where was it at? What state were we in when we went and ate that seafood restaurant? We were, like, oh, your, we mom, were, your mom was involved. We were in, yeah, where your mom was, was involved, definitely, Joey. It was Jackson. <laughs> yeah, sir. It was, it was in Missi yeah, Jackson, it was Jackson, Mississippi. Jackson, Mississippi. We went I've, to, been uh, I've been to Jackson. We went to uh There was a carjacking house. outside of the called, venue that my friend's band was playing. It was called The Hill in Jackson, Mississippi. There was I always think about that place. It was so awesome. It was like, fucking, we got the... We got trout there, pan fried trout. Me and you, and um, well, Amazing. then um, Zane got Amazing. the Zane got the catfish. Yeah, that was like the best food we ate on the whole trip. When you know it's good when you have to like pass the money through a little hole in the in the fucking ceiling to fucking give it to the cashier, and it, the place is like a little bitty house, and and you can see like kind of in the back to the kitchen a little bit, and and the dude's sitting there with a cast iron skillet, like three or four cast iron skillets. Smoking exactly. a cigarette, smoking a cigarette, like making this fucking fish, and it's fucking, it's outstanding. It's called Valley Street Fish House. Was the name of it? It's on Valley Street, and we went yeah, there. We thought we, we thought we gonna get our asses kicked when we walked that out. That place here. fucking ruled, dude. I remember they were Did fucking, Jackson, they or? were fucking mad at yeah. us because we were Mexican, and they were like, they like, wait, you guys are Mexican? Like, oh, 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 oh. Well, they no, had no. never seen, they had never <laughs> seen Mexicans. They had never seen Mexicans. Like everybody in the whole fucking goddamn state's black or white. Yeah, exactly. So they, they had never seen Mexicans, and so then we went to the neighborhood, and they were like, "What the fuck are y'all fucking spicks doing here?" Oh, we we're, like, we're just we trying to buy, buy some goddamn fucking fish plates. Like, what the yeah. fuck? Yeah, oh, you can buy was... guns and knives. For and real, I'm being honest. Like, like they had we never got, seen Mexicans ever in their life. We got... We got out of the car and it was like the fucking like the needle on the record like fucking stopped and everybody was just like looking at us and we're just like oh we're just here to get some fish guys like holy shit like we just walk up to this little house it's a house in a neighborhood and half of it's a beauty like salon a house, really. and the other half the other half the other half oh, it was a beauty salon and then the other half was a was a was a was a fish seafood restaurant that served fried fish sandwiches and oh, and you get, you get like this big piece of fish and you're like a piece of white bread is on top when you get your plate and you're like what the fuck this is not a fucking sandwich it's a piece of fish it's a fucking fish and it's like a, it was, and they, like you lift up the piece of fish and there's another piece of soaked white bread that's like soaked in grease like underneath the fucking fish and Dude, it was that, the most amazing fish we had i've ever had that, was, that, was that experience was so awesome like really that state was kind of weird but like then homie let us stay at his house remember he was like so inviting like mm -hmm. He we fucking gave me a bowl of weed in the morning, gave oh, me some beer. beers, he made us fucking pancakes. Like, yeah, the thing yeah. is, like, oh, uh, what was that? What was that fucking, what was the name of, the, of his band? We went and watched him in Corpus, actually. Oh, uh, dude, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't think dude, that was Jackson. I think that was, I think that was Pensacola. I don't know, man. Was, no, the, the, the people in Mississippi no, are really, really friendly. Like, I went on tour with the, um, Oh Christ! What was it? Uh, uh, but but uh, they're they're from San Antonio. Uh, they're they're called a uh, Slowpoke. We went out to Jackson and Hattiesburg, and we played. And they played with. I did some spoken word stuff, and we're out there in Hattiesburg. And I was like, man, everyone's really friendly. I was like, yeah, because we, we don't normally 
don't, people don't want to come here or stay here. So we're just like, please <laughs> stay here. <laughs> yeah. It's a, uh, it's a great good, I mean, like the places I went, any, Jackson and Hayes, Hattiesburg, there's a club called the Boom Boom Room. And you walk right. in there and it's exactly like you just walked into Austin. The, there's hipsters and everything. You could drink, you could take a drink outside and everything. I was like, what the hell? You know, yeah. Cobble streets, old buildings, and all that good noise. Had a lot of fun out there. there. Mississippi's there, fun. I want to go back one day. There, there's a, a – yeah, I'm going to have to go visit. We drove through Hattiesburg, and uh, we didn't get to stop. I think we stopped at a gas station there. But we uh, we got this place here in San Antonio called uh, Fred's Fish Fry. And uh, it's like um, – people think it's like they, they sell cocaine out of there. It's like the whole <laughs> stick. Oh, yeah. You know, you've heard about this Fred's Fish Fry. Look it up, Doug. And uh, and look up the look up Fred's Fish Fry cocaine. There's, like, news stories about this shit. About how people like just fucking. There's so many rumors about this fucking place. But Doug, is there any good seafood places in Boston, or is Boston just nothing but a bunch of crabs? Uh, clam chowder is like the shit. Ah, um, right. You know, Oyster House is always good. I don't eat seafood, so I just go on recommendations. I'm like, Mom, what do you like? I'll recommend that to be. So my mother is really picky about fish, so right. if she likes it, I just recommend that. And usually. Usually that works. If they if they don't like it, I'm like, if they don't like it, I just turn to my mother and go like, what the fuck? You're supposed to give me aces, mom. <laughs> give me a goddamn dinny. All <laughs> right. Well, guys, uh, time's just about up here, guys. Uh, thank you guys for for joining me and Joe tonight on, on Albert and Joe Be Live. We're kind of dropping the techno a little bit. I don't know. Maybe we're rebranding, and we might do this show live somewhere on like a – I want to do the show live somewhere, like at a at a comedy club one Sunday night or a Monday night, and we'll see how it goes. And we'll do some live. Oh, and Albert, also. what's what's up? Uh, so what was it March fourth? Uh, March fourth, yeah, it was San Antonio. Yeah, and you guys, you, you guys are you guys are on the show as well. Okay, cool. Just Best show you. ever. Yeah, always, uh, have, a, always have a great time. Fucking love hanging out with y'all. Good I had a good time. There's so much fun. Like. Great crap, yeah, dude, shit's hilarious. Thank you. So, uh, Dan, Dan, I'll let you plug whatever you're gonna plug. Do you have a plug? Uh, there's a couple outlets in the room, but uh, you, you all know what they look uh, like. So. I got nothing. <laughs> okay, uh, we're playing. We're, we're playing a uh, February 25th here in Corpus Christi. Uh, Your band, get uh, action. At, at Boozers, get with action guys, with the Death Row right. Romeos. And oh, Colin. Death Row is going to play there too? Fucking hell, yeah. Yeah. So th that's yeah, all it's I, got. Show. Oh, uh, I got. I got, okay. book, I got books. Oh, I got books on Amazon.com. Just go to Amazon.com, type in Dan Bretzer, buy them. They're, they're, they're fantastic. They're, they, they, they put me to sleep in the most subtle way possible. <laughs> With a hard. <laughs> Yeah, Doug. Doug, Doug uh, of course, you already plugged your, your the thing uh, going on tomorrow, which I'm going to check out. By the way, send me the link, and I'll I'll check it out tomorrow. Uh, you got anything else going on? Um, also, uh, yeah, live bookings are a little little sparse because of the COVID. But right. I'm doing uh, comics on comics in Foxwoods, Connecticut, um, 10 p.m. February 10th, um, and that should be fun. Uh, experiment. Um, because I'm going to Connecticut, which means I got to pass through Rhode Island. Um, ooh, uh, ooh, ooh. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> at least I'll, I'll know. I'll know what it's like to be in the show Walking Dead. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a bunch of Rhode Island people. Well, thanks guys for coming on. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. We'll have you guys back on very soon. Albert and Joe B's live TV. We, we did. It was one of the best shows tonight. Uh, I think we had, you know, quite a few viewers, and we'll see how many we had on YouTube as well and Instagram. And we upload, and we'll upload the uh, audio version to Spotify. I guess whenever the fuck I get to it. But uh, I got my thanks, guys. Up there as well. Yeah, I saw. Oh yeah, I see. It. Yeah, well, you can see them because they're kind of tiny, but you can see them. They're right there. You can see the little. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you yeah, can see them. Greg, <laughs> Until next time, right. much peace, right. wrestling, fucking talking Good shit, night. being assholes to each other, fuck the world. Oh, and most importantly, Good night, your guys. mom. And your mom. Your mom. Your mom. <laughs> yeah. Good night, guys. Joby. Bye, everybody.
Joe B, final final word from you, man. What did you think? What did you think about the show tonight? Oh, Doug. Oh, everybody left. Well, good night, everybody. Catch you guys next time. Uh, Albert and Joe B live coming to a live venue near you very soon. Thanks. See you guys very soon.